Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. In this episode we're going to take a look at leveling the print bed of a DaVinci Pro machine. First we're going to do this with the leveling function which is built in in the machine. And then you're going to see how this leveling function works and why I think you shouldn't be using it. Because, well, it's not that good. So then I'm going to show you how the manual leveling function works. So uh, how you can set it manually. And after that's done, well, you'll see this printer working flawlessly. It works really, really good after that. So I'll take you into the journey of leveling the print bed of the DaVinci Pro machine. So here I got my two machines, but we're interested only in, well, in the right machine. So let's take a look at the DaVinci Pro. So full disclaimer, this is a machine that I bought myself and it's running on system version 1.3.2. So when you have a DaVinci Pro machine, there are multiple ways to level the bed. But the original way is to go into the utilities menu, go to calibrate and then tell the machine you want to calibrate the bed. Now when you do this, it's going to heat up the extruder and the platform to the temperature you gave in uh, the filament settings. So if you're running, for example, like I do now, a filament that uses 230 degrees Celsius for the extruder and a platform temperature of 41 degrees, then it will heat up to these values so it can start working with the, uh, uh, the correct temperature for, yeah, for, for the, the, the leveling, for the bed leveling. At the inside of the machine you will notice that once it heated up uh, it will start doing its calibration round. At first it will level the bed at the correct height. And for the height measurement it will use this sensor which is an optocoupler to sense the correct height of the print bed. As you will notice the print bed will go up and down a few times and as you can see here in the back, which is over there, the print bed is brought to the correct height for the measuring. And now what it's doing is that it's calibrating on the corners of the machine so it can sense if the corners are correct. And it tries to tip on the corners and when it senses it says it's correct and then it goes to the next corner. And in this manner it will try to do all four corners. Now it has senses all four corners and now it's going to do its calculations. So it takes a while and at this moment it says that it's in progress, the calibration. So let's take a look what it says. And now it says that the level of the bed is not, not correct, it's unlevel. And it asks me if I want to adjust the bed at this moment. So I say yes. And now it's going to tell me how I have to level the bed. So the tips for turning are one step is a 90 degree angle and four steps is a full circle. So if I understand this, I have to touch the OK button. Turn the front knob to the right, 1.4 steps. So this is a 90 degree angle and then uh, the, the half of it almost. So uh, it's at this moment a 130 35 degree angle I have to turn it to the right. Now there are knobs in three positions. This is the front knob and then there is one here at the left and then there is one here at the right in the back. 
So the bed is leveled on three positions. I have to turn this knob to the right 1.4 step. So if I go to the right like this, this is one step. Now I have to go 0.4 step. So somewhere like here. This is 1.4 step. Now when I've done so I have to press OK. And now it tells me that I have to go to the right knob and I have to turn it forwards 2.2 steps. So the right knob can be found over there. As you can see the spring here, this is the right knob. So this is the right knob and I have to turn it forwards 2.2 stops or steps. So this is one step, this is two, and this is about 0.2 steps. And when we're done, we're pressing OK. And now it says I have to go to the left knob and turn it backwards 1.1 step. So this is the left knob and it has to be turned backwards 1.1 step. So I'm going here and this would be one and just a little is 1.1. And again when I'm done I hit the OK button. Now it's going to recalibrate. So it's again heating up the extruder and the platform and then it's going to recalibrate the system. So now it's almost at its correct temperature and it's going to start the calibration process. Again, the bed is being leveled to the correct height. And when that's done, the head is brought in position. And now it's sensing here at the back side. When it's done, it's going to the front side. It senses with its probe. When it's done, it's going to the other side, where it again is going to sense with its probe. And now it's going all the way to the back where it's doing its last measurement. And again it senses with its probe. And now it's completely done. Brings back the carriage to the homing position. And again we'll have to wait what the screen will say. And again it says it's an unlevel bed. Wanna, wanna adjust it now? Well, yes. And again it explains how you should do. And now it says I have to turn the front knob to the right 2.6 steps. It's going to ask me three times to do this calibration and at the third time it says it's calibrated correctly. Well, I'm going to show you how to calibrate by hand. First. I'm going to switch off the printer now because there is no reason to work with this calibration setting and my homing button doesn't work. So I switch off the printer and I turn it on again. And there it is. Now I go for the home axis. And the reason I do so is then every stepper motor is in a known position on this printer. So I let it home its axis and uh, when it's done then all the positions for all the stepper motors are known. And it's complete. So I press OK. And now I go to the Z offset. And now it's preparing a Z offset for me. 
Again, the bed will be leveled to the correct height, just as what it did when I was calibrating the bed. But what it does now is that it brings the carriage here to the front and now the power is of the motors and because the power is of the motors I am now able to, to work it around. I can now move this carriage. So we are now going to adjust the level by hand. So what I am going to do now is first I am going to take a look if my nozzle is hitting the bed and yes it is. So I have to lower the bed a little and it says now it's at 1.51 millimeters. So I'm going to lower it a little bit more and see if that helped. No, it still is not enough so I have to lower it even more. And now it helped. Now I can bring my nozzle above this first adjustment point. So this is my adjustment screw and I bring the nozzle just above this adjustment screw. And I bring in a piece of paper which I'm putting between the nozzle and the bed. And now I'm going to rise the bed again until I can feel that it's getting a little bit stiff, so I'm moving around this piece of paper and in the meantime I'm raising the bed up until I can feel here it gets stiff. This is for me the reason to go lower again, so I lower the bed a little bit more and now it doesn't feel stiff anymore. There is a slight, slight friction on it, but it's not much. So this is the correct height for me so that the printer is having its nozzle just a little above the print bed. This feels good. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I can leave the paper in between and I'm going to the back all the way until my nozzle is above that measuring point. Now I don't want to set the offset again, so I leave this as it is. What I want to do now is I want to go and use the, the knob here to make the correct offset. Until I feel a little bit of friction. And this is where I can feel that friction. So now this is at the correct height as well. Now I take this all to the other side and there I can feel a lot of friction already so I have to lower the bed a little. And here I can feel just as much friction as I felt here and over there. I don't have to see it with my eyes, I can just use the feeling, I, I can feel if there is friction or not. And this feels good. So now the level for the whole bed is at the same height. Now I can make a test print to see what it does. And if I think that it's not at the correct height, I can set the C offset to another height. I know it's level, now the only thing I have to change is the height. So if this is not ok, if this is too close to the bed, then I can adjust it just by setting my C offset. In this instance I am going to do this immediately. I am going to lower the bed a little bit. And the reason I do so is because I am using Biltec. And when you are using Biltec you want to have your print uh, a little bit less close to the bed because otherwise it's sticking too good to the build tech and uh, well you can't get your print off then. So the offset is now set, everything is okay, I press the OK button, the home button and now my machine is ready to start printing for me. Well guys 
this was it. This was how to level the print bed of your DaVinci Pro machine. It wasn't that difficult, was it? Well, the automated leveling function, you don't have to use it again if you're going to use it manually. So half of the video, you can throw it away. You haven't, yeah, you haven't to use it anymore again. Um, the rest of the manual function, it really works great. And I urge you to use the manual way of leveling because it's the best way. And you will see that your printer will really make great, great prints after you've done that. So now let's take a look at how this printer prints. So here I have the cube that I printed with my DaVinci Pro printer after leveling the bed. And as you can see, after leveling the bed, it came out perfectly as for the adhesion to the bed. So this was what the whole video was about. How to set your calibration for your bed. Well, there are a few other things going wrong with this cube. And I have to dive into that. But I think I'll do that after I install the E3D V6 hotend again. Because, well... I want this printer to run in E3D. So this is it for this episode. If you liked it, then please subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that bell button, because if you're not hitting the bell button, then you won't be notified every time I come up with a new video, and that is weekly. Also, please yeah, give this video a like if you really liked it. And if you can help out the channel by giving a small donation, like a cup of coffee or something like that, well, you can do so in the link in the description down below. So, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye!